I'd like to welcome you all, and uh, I'm going to do an introduction, but I'm going to ask first of all, if we give room enough for the colors to be posted, and I'm going to ask Linda Snyder to sing the national anthem, and after we do that, I'm going to ask Reverend Fred Roberts uh, to give an invocation to keep us safe while we're riding today, and to thank the good Lord for keeping us safe while we were out on the roads this week, and uh then I'll come back to the microphone and tell you what we're going to do, okay? So, uh, uh, Captain Sullivan, uh, if you will post your colors, please, sir. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Be our energy, be our strength, and be the wind behind our backs. Join us now and stay with us always. And all God's people say it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Fred. <clears throat> Today's event is a way of honoring our combat injured service members. And we have, oh, we've had a large group, the largest group we've ever had on any ride. And uh, before I ask the mayor and the colonel to speak, uh, I'm going to quickly have the guys put their hands up wherever they're standing as I introduce them. And, and this way here, you'll, you'll know who they are and where they're from. And I'm going to start off with Chris Simples from the Virginia area, United States Air Force. And then we have Mike Taylor, United States Army, and from the Benton Raleigh area. And then we have our island's own Angela Zafir, United States Air Force. And then we have over here, we have One Lake Dan, Dan O'Connor, a good friend of mine. United States Marine Corps. <laughs> and, and the bike next to him is C.J. Owens, Gunnery Sergeant, United States Marine Corps, retired as well. <laughs> and next to him is, is that, is that Tom Nugent? No. <laughs> Tom Nugent, Rocky Point, North Carolina. <clears throat> and walking fast behind him is Greg Vink from Southport, North Carolina. And, and next to him is Antoine. Antoine is from Fayetteville in the Fort Bragg area. All right. You ready for me, Bob? Yes, ma'am. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Betty Wallace. I'm the proud mayor of the proud town of Oak Island, North Carolina. 
Um, I'm going into my fifth year. Uh, in December would be five years as mayor of the town of Oak Island, and I have loved every single minute. Every year that I've been mayor, uh, Bob and Deborah, and for the rest of my life, okay, I'm going to say Bob and Deborah. So just when you hear me say that, she's just as much here with us today as she was last year and every year I've done this. But they have asked me to speak at every one of these events. And late summer, uh, Deborah had asked me if I was gonna be here this year. And there was a little speech I made, the very first one, and she asked me if I was gonna do that one again. And I thought it might have been getting kind of old because so many of you heard it before. But those of you that hadn't heard it, she asked me if I would relate again my love of our country's military. My dad, uh, non-combat injury, lost his left leg in 1949 when he was serving in the United States Navy. When they converted the Houston uh, Military Hospital to the Houston VA Center, they had a representative of each member of the armed services at the uh, grand opening ceremonies. And we still had the picture of daddy shaking the hand of the new commander of the VA hospital at Fort Houston, Texas. I believe that was 1951-52. Uh, my father-in-law served on LST at the Battle of Leyte Gulf and also at Okinawa. Um, he probably had PTSD you World War II vets, we didn't diagnose that then. We just knew that you needed to come back home again. But he lived to the ripe old age of 80, uh, eight children, <laughs> and had a wonderful life. Uh, my husband, I'm sure the record is broken by now, and it was a fast track promotion. It was between Korea and Vietnam. But in the mid 60s, he was the youngest person ever promoted to sergeant in the United States Army. Uh, I, I tried to see if that record still held, but I couldn't find it. My son, uh, Ura, joined the Marine Corps. Uh, yes, Ooh. you know what he did. He was the honor graduate for his entire company at Paris Island Marine Corps Base, Ura. He served at Camp Lejeune and then went to Pendleton and then went to Okinawa where um, a buddy of his accidentally dropped a box of ammunition on his back and broke it in three places. He fought against them, discharging him, but, you know, he just couldn't complete the PTs. And he is the proud owner of a Duramax aftermarket web-based company, uh, freedommotorsports.com, if any of you go to it, and supporting a wife and three children in fine style now. Our veterans are the strength of our nation and you can't get you guys down you just can't get you down no matter what happens to you you just keep going i love every one of you i am surrounded by veterans i i would just i love the weekends like we have at oak island this weekend uh we have our b-17 flying fortress at the airport we have uh the military appreciation day appreciation day uh it's two days actually of fishing People with boats are taking our military vets out on, on deep sea fishing. We just had our Operation North State uh, fishing day at the pier down at Ocean Crest Pier. We had this entire weekend full of veterans and everybody in Oak Island fly your flags this weekend. Thank you to our rec center. Thank you to the Oak Island Quilters Club. Thank you to everybody that volunteers with this group. Welcome to Oak Island, and Bob, that feeling is your blood pressure dropping by 20 points when you cross that bridge. <laughs> Welcome to all of you. Hi. I do. Hi, everybody. Hey, thanks so much for inviting me out here. Um, I've got to be honest with you, this, this is really humbling, really humbling to be surrounded by, by so many warriors, by heroes, um, not just our wounded, but their families, everyone who supports them, and the volunteers here today. So thank you, Bob. Um, we thank you. We pay tribute to the memory of Deborah. And again, thanks everyone for coming out here. It's, it's really hard to follow the mayor 
it's awfully hard to follow Jamie too. I think it was Tom Martin who said that was more awesomer when he jumped that flag in. That was great. Hey, thanks, Jamie. And like, like Jamie, and you too, Bob, I'm sure, I was actually 5'10 when I joined the service. <laughs> Unfortunately, after a tour at Fort Bragg and almost four years there, I'm a little bit shorter. So thanks again for having me out here. This is great. And that uh, national anthem, where, where's Linda? That was absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. So this wouldn't be possible without our volunteers here today. So let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. I especially want to thank Jim. Where's Jim? Because if he didn't find that little bubble in my tire, I bet I'd have a flat tire about five miles out there. So thanks, Jim. So for me, this is about paying tribute to, to the heroes we have among us. Not just that, to thank them for their service, but mostly it's to remind everybody as we drive around, lest they never forget Never forget the sacrifices of our wounded, the sacrifices of those that we've lost, the sacrifices of their families and their loved ones. And I won't make it any longer other than to say thank you, and I can't wait to ride. So if you'll give me about two minutes to take this uniform off, I'll be ready to go. Thank you so much for having me here today. Have a great day. See you.